Hi, y'all. Um, I thought I'd talk about something that I got earlier. To... Sorry. Um, I am on my bed, so uh, every time I move where I move my legs or I switch position, uh, my bed makes the camera move and it goes... Sorry. There's really not that much I can do about that. I try not to fidget too much when I'm doing this, simply because I don't I don't want to cause the camera to go crazy. But anyway, so earlier today, I got something in the mail that I have been just dying to get. I've been waiting on it for so long, going, please appear in my mailbox, please, please, please. And it's a couple of rouges. Uh, liquid rouges that I have been waiting on. To start with, uh, since the Rouge de Beauty didn't work out for me thanks to my oily skin, I thought I was going to I would go go ahead and try the Turkish Rouge. Now the Turkish Rouge, and this is what uh, this is what the sample size looks like. It is tiny. It's a tiny tiny bottle, and it will probably last you a good week or so. Just enough time for uh, a new bottle to arrive in the mail. But uh, this is a very red, very, very, very red rouge that takes a long time for it to really show up on your skin. Even as so on someone as pale as me. Probably wouldn't take nearly as long if you're using the white face paint because probably then it's even more noticeable. But uh, this is this is what it comes out to right there. This is only a few layers of trying to get it to show up, and it finally shows up on the camera. It shows up better in natural light than it does on my camera, but my camera's not that great. In fact, my camera kind of distorts color, so uh, this this color does not show up very well, and it looks a bit orange. Most things look a bit orange on this camera. And in that package, I also had a sample of a new rouge that she put in there, which is based off of the Riggs Liquid Bloom that I learned about it while researching Regency stuff for the book that I'm writing. And this is called Liquid Bloom of Roses. This stuff is fantastic. And I have to say, uh, Turkish Rouge is probably closer to Benetint than this does uh, than this is, but I'd say this is almost a perfect match for Benetint, both in absorption and in color. The color is this this insane pink red. It doesn't look like much on the camera, but trust me, it's pink red and bordering on just vibrant pink. This stuff is go hard or go home uh, in color and in intensity of color. It doesn't take long for you to get full color or I shouldn't say full color, but a uh, really vibrant color out of this. So, um, and it will stain your fingers. But if you don't care about staining your fingers, go ahead. You go wild with it. Use your fingers to getting this down to your skin. But otherwise, I would suggest doing what uh, the Etsy page says to do, which is to take a corner of a soft handkerchief and da use that to dab it on. And if it if it dries, you can use water, or at least supposedly you can use water to make this come back to life. Now, um. The water trick did not work on me. I tried washing it on my uh, off of my fingers and it really didn't move around. It took uh, a lot of rubbing. And by rubbing, I mean a lot of me going to work as a cashier, doing stuff with my fingers for it to finally wear off. Now, I have stains on my fingers right now. 
And that's mainly because the Turkish Rouge decided to leak a little. And that's what the um, the weird army helmet on here looks like. Uh, it's sealing wax. And the sealing wax is supposed to help uh, keep it from leaking. But um, I think I accidentally cut a little too close to the top for this one. And so I think it's starting to leak from the side that has the shorter side to it on the sealing wax. So um, I'm trying to keep it upright and keep it from shaking too often so that it will, it will end up on my fingers. But uh, I had this on earlier today, and it lasted for a good long time. I had the um, the liquid bloom of roses on my, my lips and my cheeks, and the cheeks were actually more vibrant than my lips after my shift was over. Um, pretty sure that's just probably from rubbing and such, from uh, me probably licking my lips constantly, because I do that a lot. <clears throat> Particularly when my uh, chapstick start, starts wearing down. And I'm constantly wearing chapstick. I kind of have to. Otherwise, my lips get very, very dry. And this stuff will actually dry your lips a bit. Much like Benetint does. Benetint will dry your lips considerably. So keep chapstick on hand to moisten your lips to, to keep them soft and happy. Um, but that's that's what these are. I highly recommend you buying the uh, the bigger bottles or just getting the small ones. These are two bucks each. The bigger bottles are ten dollars and they're a little bit bigger than this. And uh, I'd say there's more in those bottles than there is in Benetint bottles. So Benetton is $30. The bigger bottles of both of these are $10. Go for this. Seriously. You will love this. Now, one thing you might want to keep in mind with uh, any liquid rouge is time. If you don't got the time, don't bother. Don't, don't use these, although the liquid bloom of roses absorbs really quickly and... Uh, you could effectively cut time using this in the same manner that you would with Benetint. You will not be able to cut time with this one. This one takes longer to absorb, and uh, it takes longer to get a good color up, at least as far as I've been able to get it to uh, manage. It takes a lot longer for a good color to show up, and... Uh, that's the way rouges were, particularly the liquid rouges. They, and that's how uh, makeup was done back then. You you took your time. You you had the time. If you had the ability to wear these these cosmetics, generally speaking, you had the time to be able to put on your makeup and uh, dress. And if you could not then you probably had no business having makeup in the first place because you're too busy trying to make sure you can eat. But these are naturally derived. Uh, the lady takes um, historical recipes and uh, sometimes modifies them, sometimes doesn't. But what she's mostly modifying is harsher elements that aren't, uh, are uh, are um, not good for the skin, not good for people in general, like the white face paint uh, would call for white lead. And she doesn't use white lead. She uses titanium oxide, which was something that was used back then. And so she would use that instead of uh, for modifying the white face paint that she does for her shop. Um, that's about it as far as, uh, it, it, she has all kinds of stuff in there. So I, I, I will, if I can remember to put the link to the shop 
into the the um, the description box. So please, please check her out. Uh, check out her stuff. The Liquid Bloom of Roses alone is worth it. Ten dollars for a bottle of that magical wonder down there. Amazing. I mean, I mean, look at this. This is the Liquid Bloom of Roses, and uh, this is the Turkish Rouge. Both of them are fantastic, and both of them make my hand look like I just hurt myself. <laughs> Even with the vibrant print pink of the Liquid Bloom of Roses, I still look like I've hurt myself. So, there you go.